Good morning, my sisters and brothers in Christ. I greet you with the joy of the Lord. And I greet you today with a little bit of emptiness, a little bit of um, joy and a little bit of sadness. As this is the last Sunday morning coffee until the Lord says differently. So to date, this marks 200 Sunday morning coffees of coming to you and encouraging you and sharing with you what God has laid on my heart. And I'm a believer of passing on good things to good people, to the saints of God. And there's 200 reasons to serve God because if we had 10,000 tongues, we could never repay him for all of his unconditional love, all of his promises, uh, and promises that he has proven that he has kept through the through years and through generations. And, you know, God really is the instrument in which we should live by and in which we should have our being. His love, his kindness, and how we are with people in the world, with complete strangers, how we, how we treat one another is so vital to the Christian faith how we accept one another for who we are and working with one another in where we are. And you know, that really brings to mind uh, to me and it should bring mind to you of how far you've come in your journey um, with Christ and with God and with relying on the Holy Spirit and how those three, three are so paramount and so quintessential to our lives. Uh, just how the Holy Spirit gives you comfort, how Jesus has given us direction to live by and how God is and will always be and has always um, been um, consistent in his love for us. And every time that we know that when we stumble or fall, that God sent his son. And what's the, what's so beautiful about that is that we think of John 316 and what God did and we focus on that, which is a key and crucial point in a Christian's life. But I think sometimes we forget of how that grace extends daily, that it's not a one-time thing. It's not a one-time activation, but we learn that we have to do our part. And what's so good and so awesome about God is that when God worked with us and when he met us where we were, maybe we were in depression or maybe we were suffering or battling from some type of or some form of addiction that The thing about God is that he meets us where we are. He meets us in our limitations, but he makes those limitations um, capabilities. So in meeting with God, you never, ever leave the same if you allow him to do his work. And I thought about how powerful that is to know that the God that we know and love and serve is a part, an integral part of who we are when we allow that to resonate and allow that light to shine, to be able to help others. And that that should be evident that when someone comes into contact with us, that we've spent some time with God. And this, it's so much love and power wrapped up in that, that as we live our lives and we touch other people, there's a warmness in Christianity, in the love, in the agape love um, that we exemplify um, when we have Christ-like attributes And remember that in all and through all, we are employed by God, that no matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, no matter how you wake up in the morning feeling or maybe you didn't sleep well at night, that God is omnipresent and that where your thoughts are, there lies the answer in God. And these truths have held up to be evident through generation after generation. So goodbye for now. Farewell for now. And on days when you awake and you feel so far from God, when you feel so far from family and friends, when you feel disconnected, I encourage you to plant your feet on fertile soil, soil that God has put under us, and to stretch your hands out to the hills where only that help comes from. And even in despair, continuously rely on God. It has been a pleasure to encourage. It has been a pleasure to serve. Be well.
until the next time.